Hi, Ashley. Hi, Joelle. How are you? Good. How are you, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Awesome. All right. I am recording. So let's just address the first question, um, which is, do you guys do things for Black Friday? If so, what are, what are your recommendations? Um, I would say, so Zaya doesn't personally do something, obviously, because it's not a big company. Um, maybe they'll have something up their sleeves where they'll do like, I don't know, like 25% off of an item or something. We're not sure yet, but most likely we will get an email if they are going to do something like that. Last year, Caitlin and I both did like a fun uh, thing where we like we promoted it and we said, if you want to be part of our fun Black Friday deals, join this group. We created like our own little group just for Black Friday. And I think I had like five people join the group. <laughs> it wasn't many, but I told them I'm only posting on Black Friday. It's not going to be like a big party or anything. And I posted like at like five in the morning, you know, so like you got to be paying attention. Um, and I did, I forget what I did, but I, I think I gave away like some of my 50% off items. So if I had like my, like a VIP link out, I would do that. Um, like if I had a VIP link with rewards on there, even if it was just like a $200 one, I think I gave away like my 50% off items. Um, like the first two people that order had to message me and I would give them, you know, those items. Um, but I didn't do much like gift cards and things like that because first of all, you know, we are in a small business. So you don't want to be like breaking your bank, just trying to get people to order. And, and you can't have any sort of guilt, like, oh, we don't have like these amazing Black Friday deals, you know, like we're a different company. So just be confident in the quality of Zaya and confident in your small business. And I, I would say, don't break your bank because you feel bad because we don't have Black Friday deals like Amazon does. Um, I would also say maybe you can even gear it towards Christmas. So you can put out there like, if you wanna support my small company instead of buying leggings from Nike and you're looking to buy activewear for somebody for Christmas, please support my small business um, I, we have great active where you can put that out there, like, you know, kind of put Christmas in there. But I would say if you are going to do something fun for Black Friday, just remember, don't break your bank. <laughs> like people, have people just support, try to get people to support your small business. Um, if you, my obviously best suggestion would be to use your own rewards. So if you have them. I know not everybody has them. I just use like all my rewards for mystery hostess things. So I don't even have any right now. But if you have some, use use those. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I need to, we need to talk about anymore. Yeah, I just, um, I'll just throw something out there. I, um, if you have, like, I, like Joelle said, don't be worried about um, trying to give like the best deal, like because Amazon and Nike and all that are giving out, you know, 75% off on Black Friday. Um, Zaya is amazing. We all know that it's amazing. And whether or not we have massive deals or not, people are still going to buy. They just might not buy on Black Friday and that's okay. So don't stress yourself out about that. Normally, um, the first two weeks of November have amazing, like, like really good parties, book your parties in the first two weeks of November. So then people aren't, um, like having a party over Black Friday and expecting you to like give like a hundred dollar gift card away. You know, like people do expect things on Black Friday. So if you don't have something to give, just don't say anything. So, I mean, people probably won't jump at like free shipping or 10% off on Black Friday just because they're finding other deals, but they're also probably looking for like a TV or a refrigerator. Zaya is like clothing. So it's not like these huge purchases that people are trying to look for. Um, so what I did, Joel said, you know, we had our little group that we added people into, we had just started Zaya. So we really didn't have a lot of people in our group anyways. Um, but what we did was we did have some rewards. I think we had a $200 rewards, um, like party well, that we gave the rewards Ooh. away on that. 
Um, and so we did that. It We had like two 50% off items and 20 bucks. So we were like, hey, the first two people that jump on are going to get um, 50% off item, which is really good. People do like 50% off items. We only used a $200 party. So it wasn't like we gave a $1,000 party away. Each person got to pick a 50% off item and then they um, were done. Like there was, and they had to pick it that night so we could put that order in. And that's all we did. But you do not have to do that. Don't stress yourself out about trying to find something for Black Friday and trying to give all these things away. But if you do have a party to give away, that is a great way to get people to have Zaya in their hands, but it's not a requirement and definitely don't stress about it. All right, next question. Um, <clears throat> How often, this is from Amy, how often do you get no responses when following up with customers about their order or having a party? Any scripting you could share? Um, so obviously no is a very popular response <laughs> um, when following up with people um, and obviously about having parties. Um, I feel like Caitlin, it would be a really good one talking about scripting on this one. Caitlin, the, the question is, how often do you get no responses when following up with customers about their order or having a party? Sorry, I was with, uh, my son was knocking on the door and he took his diaper and his uh, everything off. So I had to call my husband to get him. Anyways, um, so this is a good question. Um, so let me just read it. When you get no response about following up with customers about their order, having a party. So I have had people not respond to me when they have ordered or um, like, just like ignore me completely when I've messaged them about like, if they love their stuff. Um, I've realized that people don't actually see your stuff if you're not friends. So if you're not friends with them on Facebook, add them as a friend, especially if they've ordered. I always add them as a friend if they are not responding to me. Um, I don't initially add them right away if, because sometimes they can still see it. But if people have like a certain Facebook setting, they it blocks people that aren't their friends. It goes into another messaging area and most people do not even see that. Um, so I add them as a friend. And then once they accept my friend request, I resend the message because it will not pop up just because they accept my friend request. I have to resend it. And then it suddenly pops up and they're like, oh, I didn't see this message. I just saw it right now. So it's because for some reason, Facebook blocks you. It's like a protecting thing for them. So they don't have these spam messages coming in. Um, so add them as a friend. If they still don't respond to you, if you're their friend and you've sent that message and it looks like they've read it, then it just means they're probably not interested. Um, you could send another message just saying, hey, um, I saw that you read my message. Uh, not sure if you forgot to answer me. I would always send up a follow-up message at least once. And then after that, just not say anything. So make sure they're your friend. Um, if they're your friend on Facebook, then that means they saw, you can see if they're seeing your message. And then um, if they don't respond, just give one follow-up message just to make sure. Cause I have actually had where people have sent me messages and I've read it and I completely forgot because I got busy with my kids or something. And then when they message me again, I'm like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot to answer them. Like, and I feel really bad. And I'm like, I'm really sorry. I meant to answer you. I just completely forgot because you have so many things going on. So that has happened to me. So I always give people the benefit of the doubt that it's not me, it's them. So I always just resend another message saying something a little different, like, hey, just following up. Didn't know if you saw my message earlier. Um, how are you loving your stuff? I really hope you're loving it. What do you think? What about, if, um, what about if you get a straight no, like they do respond and they say no to a party? If they say, say no to, okay. So if they say no to a party, then I just ask them to join my VIP group. Um, I always make sure people come into my VIP group because people that have said no to a parties and they join your VIP group always seem to come back as at least a customer. And then you have them in there to show Zaya and maybe they will eventually want to have a party or even sign up as a rep. So um, I've always added them to my VAP group. And then if they, I actually don't just allow one no, I mean, not allow, but I don't just let one no, like they're not interested, go away. I kind of like try to like 
ask them like, well, is it because you're too busy right now? Or is it, um, you know, it's just not a good time or you don't understand. Some people felt like thought they had to pay to have a party. And I was like, no, you don't have to pay. Or like they have to do, they have to do it all themselves or they have to do an in-home party. So a lot of people don't even have like the right idea of a party because there's so many parties out there and everyone does it different. And Zaya does it so nice and so simple because literally we do the work and they just have to be present and invite their friends. That's literally all they have to do. Um, and a lot of people don't know that. So I try to like kind of get an idea of why they said no. So then I can help them understand that it's really not what they think it is and that they, if they love Zaya, let's get your wish list items. Let's get you some free and half off stuff because if you love it and you're going to buy more, you might as well have a party. So all right. Did I answer the question? Hopefully that answered a little bit. I, I don't know if there's like an exact script that we use, Amy. It really just depends on the answer. So say somebody doesn't respond and, you know, follow up like Caitlin said, say some, like I've had a couple of people say, no, I'm just too busy. And so then I, I will say, okay, I understand, you know, we're all, we all have busy lives, but I just want you to know that Typically I run these off of a weekend. I do most of the posting, you know, kind of just describing that you don't need to um, really, you know, be sitting at home doing nothing to have a party. Um, so just kind Joelle, of- how about, Joelle, how about you give me like a real quick no scenario of having a party and I can just kind of answer it in a fast way of how I would answer people. Okay. Um, well, I just did one, uh, so I'll do a different scenario. Um, no, I don't want to do a party because I've done parties in the past and they don't go well. So this is a very common thing that I feel like a lot of people say um, that I've actually had people say to me before. Um, one thing that I always say is I always acknowledge people's feelings. Always acknowledge their feelings when they say no for some reason. There's a reason why and they want to be acknowledged that you heard them. So whatever reason the no is for, acknowledge. Yes, I, oh, I completely understand. Um, I've had parties or I know people that have had parties that haven't gone well um, either. Um, I totally get that. Um, can I tell you why Zaya is maybe a little different? Um, I've had a lot of people that have said to me that they don't do well in parties. And when I've thrown them a party, it actually has gone surprisingly amazing for them because Zaya is closed and it's, um, everybody kind of wears clothes. Everybody loves um, new trends that come out, seasonal things to keep them warm for the fall. Um, so I always kind of like acknowledge their feelings and then tell them why maybe Zaya's party would go better than maybe if they had a different type of party and why maybe that one wasn't as versatile for everybody. Yeah, I think, I think the, the bottom line, is when it comes to, I am more of a people pleaser and I know you are as well, Amy. Um, mm -hmm. And so, and I know Caitlin's not. <laughs> so <laughs> she's had a little more success because she's not afraid to um, like ask questions. And, and when somebody just says straight up no, she's not afraid to like dig deeper. Whereas you and I would be like, okay, like almost like, sorry, I asked, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, and so I feel like we just kind of have to be a little more confident and realize that um, not like by us asking for the questions or following. I can't up. hear you anymore, Joelle. Oh, I'm not muted. I don't know. Your volume went down. Can anybody else hear me? Can you guys hear me? Not really. Um, anyways, I'll, I don't know what happened. Your volume went down and just like, kind of like you, like, can anyone else hear her? Chelsea, you it's can't. really me. Yeah. You're like, I don't know what happened. I can't really hear you. Um, what, just look into it for a second. I'll just finish what you were saying. Um, what she um, was saying is like, when you are more of like a timid person, or if you um, 
feel like you're like a people pleaser or you, someone says no, and you just take that as, you know, as a no, you know, you don't want to dig deeper. Um, remind yourself that it's not you, that people are saying no. Don't tell yourself a story that it's because of you or they hate Zaya or something negative to yourself. Um, remind yourself that maybe they just don't understand what this party even means. There's so many people that don't understand what parties are and how simple it can be for them and how they can truly get something out of it that they're gonna love. So um, just tell yourself, try to support yourself because we always tell ourselves these negative things that people are saying no to us and we're not good enough or um, just all the negative things that we can fill our minds with. So tell yourself positive things and say, I'm going to tell someone this and they're going to love it. And I hope that they love it. And you just need to be positive for yourself um, because then you're gonna react in a different way when you're positive. Um, so I always have to hype myself up when I'm talking to people because I know I love it, but sometimes it doesn't come out in my message that I'm telling them. So you have to be extremely excited and positive. And if they say no, you just say, oh, I, you know, um, is there a reason why you said no? Like, is there a reason why it's not for you? Um, and then they're going to tell you, you know, most people are just going to tell you or they'll ignore you if they're truly not interested. They'll just ignore you, which is fine. We all have people that ignore us. Um, I am more blunt in certain circumstances, but I still have people that ignore me even when I'm blunt. Like it still happens to me lots of times. So um, just let it go when people ignore you or they say no after you've asked multiple times, just let it go. Don't let it be something about you. It's not you. It, that's always what I have to tell myself. It's not me. It's not me that they're saying no to. It's just not for them right now. It's not their season, so. All right, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> um, that was weird. Okay, so the next question is from Brooke and Cassie kind of um, asked, kind of bounced off of it. It says, any tips, ideas for an open house that I am doing in November? Um, the best advice I can give you for an open house, because I've done a couple, is do not go into the open house with high expectations. And the reason I say that is because I've had one go very well and I've had two go very bad like where like one person would show up. So just do the open house with an open mind and just do it with wanting to have fun. Don't put too much pressure on yourself with like the whole Zaya thing, invite people over. Um, I did one where I had like wine and cheese and like this whole spread. I've also did done one where I just had punch, you know? Um, so like if, if you're doing one, like one time a year and it's like a special holiday thing, sure. Have fun with it. You know, like do a fun holiday theme or have wine, have cheese, whatever. Um, I don't carry inventory on hand, like to give out to people, like, because I just don't want to be responsible for having to sell it back in case it doesn't sell or having to like ship it back and, you know, spend money on shipping. What I do is I just put out what I have and I have my laptop, I have a separate link. And I just, I just try really hard to have good customer service. So like, say somebody looks at the jogger, like the unwind joggers and they're like, well, I really like these, but they're not their size. At least they can feel it. And then I can help them find the right size there. Like as we are talking and I can let them know, like, listen, if you get these and they don't fit, like, if obviously people who are coming are local, I offer to take it to the post office for them, like if they're local. Um, and I, I, I offer that. So I know not everybody does, but I do, um, especially if it's like a fun open house, like in their local. Um, so you can always offer that as a good customer service. But I would just say, focus on just building relationships as well, having fun. And, um, you know, like when I've had people over, I don't do like this big like Zaya presentation because a lot of times people think that's what you're going to do because I've been to a couple like I love Young Living. I'm a member of Young Living Essential Oils, but I've been to a couple like Young Living parties and they sit you down or like other parties like that are, you know, selling something and they sit you down and they talk to you about it. Like I don't do that with Zaya. I just have my rack of clothes. We have fun. We talk about it and like in a very low key 
fun way. So um, make sure people know that they don't have to expect to be like, it's not like a big presentation. You're not going to be like, so, you know, join me right now, you know? <laughs> um, so just have fun with it. And um, I would say it's up to completely up to you if you want to do inventory. The things that I would do inventory on are obviously the light and tights. I would probably stick to more like neutral light and tight colors. Um, the boyfriend hoodies, if, if those come out here soon. <laughs> um, jot, like the, some of the joggers, maybe even like the bomber bras. Those are things I feel like that would sell really well, like off the rack. But um, I definitely, I haven't done that just because I don't want to lose money um, if I don't have to. And yeah, I would say just have fun. And I um, think I'll add a little in there too, Joel. Um, Joel's done obviously way more or done in-home parties. I have never done an in-home party, but we have done lots of vendor fairs together um, when we first started out. And a vendor fair is kind of similar to what you would, I mean, you're not gonna have like um, people like walking through seeing other stuff but it's pretty similar in how you want to advertise yourself um, with a party. And one thing that I want to, that you could have is you could have a fun giveaway of the night. Anyone that um, orders that night um, off of the link is going to get entered into the giveaway. Um, they have to do it before they leave though, because sometimes when people leave, they kind of forget and then they never do it. So there's some type of incentive to get somebody to order that night, that day, not to go home and think, but to order because they get entered into something or get free shipping. If you order before you leave, you get free shipping. I will reimburse you. So those two things definitely give a giveaway if you have an in-home party because it gives people incentive to order then and not wait. Because when they wait, then they are like, oh, maybe I didn't need it. I'm not gonna buy anything. And then they never buy anything. So yeah. give them an incentive to be excited to order. And then also um, if they do order, ask them to um, join their, your VIP page right away while they're there at the party. Just like, hey, anyone that orders, I'd love if you um, join my VIP page right away so we can stay in contact, make sure it fits you and everything goes well. So just do those two follow-up things I feel like is going to keep um, yourself in touch with that person. Um, and that's all I really would add um, on like a business point of view of a party. Yeah, and you can also, I've, I've actually gotten a couple parties from, from my in-home parties. So like if somebody does order something or feels the quality and, and then they realize, oh, I want some more stuff. Don't be afraid to say, hey, let's set you up a party. Like I'm actually doing, I actually, I'm actually gonna wanna do a couple here in November. It could be Christmas themed, you know, or maybe for a new, like New Year's resolution. Don't be afraid to ask them about that. All right, next question. I feel like this one can go really short because I know we are taking a lot of time for... <laughs> okay, um, I think you might... Oh, wait. Uh, have you... What have you found for the best limit on a party? Like how many days do you typically do parties and how many posts in one day? I think Kayla and I are very similar on this. Um, I normally do mine like three, three to five days. Try to keep it in a three to four because a lot of people just get sick of seeing stuff. But I know sometimes it will like carry on because you have a couple people that are a little bit slow to ordering. Um, um, but I would say, I don't like doing them a whole week long. I really don't. And I, from all of my customers that I've, I've done parties for, they agree as well. And so, and I feel like rushing orders is the best way to do it. Like trying to get those orders rushed rather than like dragging it out. Um, and then Kayla, on what, like eight, maybe like six posts a day? Yeah, I would say, um, just so you guys, re I, I don't know if you ever watched the video that we did a long time ago, but it was um, the best times to post for social media. So do it from, you know, seven to nine in the morning, do your posts, one at noon, and then after in the evening, like you can do like three to seven. So there's like chunks of time where it just feels like it's waste of time to post because people aren't going to see it anyways, unless they're always staying at home and they don't have a job um, where they have to go into work and not be on their phones. Um, so mainly in the morning, that's when people always check their phone when they wake up in the morning. So like seven to nine noon, because that's lunchtime, everyone's eating. Um, and then in the afternoon, like three to seven. 
So Kelsey um, said, how do you do a three to four day party with Wednesday and a weekend? I start mine on Thursday, my parties and end on Sunday. That's what I do. Um, I don't like to work on Sunday because it's my day of rest, but at that point it's kind of, I'm just answering questions. I'm not really posting a whole lot. Um, so I know Caitlin uh, runs hers from Wednesday to. Yeah, I do mine Wednesday to Saturday and then I extend to Sunday if, um, if I need to extend it because I can tell that people want to order but they're just busy on Saturday. I, a lot of the times mostly extend it to Sunday, but like Joelle said, I don't post. It's just open and I let people know it's an extra day and they can order. And normally a lot of people order on Sunday, even when you're not posting, it's kind of surprising. Um, but I do Wednesday and how I do it is I do a few posts in the morning. I let them know that I'm, there's new releases at noon and that I'll be posting those eventually, but I'm not rushing the parties of posting because normally the site's slow and if they're new, they don't get it. They don't know why that they can't get an order in and why it's not working. So I normally wait just a little bit and then I slowly will like post like, hey, this came out today. It's like so exciting, but I don't like blow up their feed and like post everything because they don't really quite understand it. So I just kind of slowly will be like, hey, this came out today. It's new, it's really exciting. Just remember the site may be slow because I've had, I've done it the other way where I posted everything and then they get annoyed because they're like, well, why can't I get on? Like, it's not working. So it's hard to explain that to 50 or not 50, like 20 people in a group that have no idea what Zaya is. So I just kind of, I let them know what's coming, but I don't necessarily like throw everything out there right away. Um, and then um I also do like free shipping on, that's my first day. That's my early bird special is I do free shipping and I actually get quite a lot of interaction normally in my parties, at least three to four orders right away that first day. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty good. By that night. That's what I've been doing recently. Like not just giving them out to anybody to use during the party. I say, I think we, we said this. In one well, I can't hear you again, really. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> can you hear me now? I mean, we can hear you, but it's very light. Can you hear me now? What the heck? Um, okay. I can hear you, but it's like you're faint in the back. Okay, let's go to the next question. Okay, I'll read it. Um, how often do you share about your Isaiah biz on personal page? Um, Amy, I don't really throw on my personal page often. It's maybe like every few months or if there's a huge promotion, um, I'll throw it on there. I guess I try to like keep all of my Zaya stuff into my group. And then I do a lot of Instagram stuff and like um, stories. So I share like um, the Zaya starter kit on my stories, which is um, your personal stuff. And it's like live for everyone to see, but I don't necessarily post it to my wall, if that makes sense. Joy, you, you do the same. Yeah, can you hear me? Kind of. Yeah, and then Amy's asking about, if it, is it worth it to have an Instagram account and to learn about it? Um. um yeah, I would say you don't need Instagram. Um, I, Mallory, are one of our highest reps uh, above us. She's like a double Zaya executive. She doesn't do much on Instagram. She has like 300 followers and doesn't really promote a lot on it. Um, so I'd say it's really up to you. Um, you don't need it to be successful, but you can get it if you want to. But if you feel like it's going to be extra work that maybe it's going to take a lot of your time away from your business, don't do it. You know, it's, it's, if you already have Instagram, keep it up because it can help you. Um, but if you don't, don't stress yourself out because it's not the only way that you can be successful. Facebook can work solely for your success. Can you hear me now? You're about, you're about the same. I mean, you're like faint, but we can hear you. Okay. Go to the next question. Oh, you're fine now. Okay, I think the next question we already answered. So let's skip that one and go to, do you think that having the hostess message their guests has been a lot better than just you messaging them? I feel bad making hostess do things when I'm um, like, it's easy. You don't have to do anything. 
Um, there are some hostess that that don't want to do it. So then I just tag them in it. <laughs> and so they're pretty much like doing it. I'm they're tagged in it, but I'm just writing it. Um, yeah. If I would say um, if they give them or don't give them really the option to do it, just say, hey, I would like you to do this. If they say they don't want to, um, then just say, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to tag you in the message then. You don't have to necessarily write it. I'll write it and tag you in it because um, they feel might feel more comfortable with you as um, talking to you or they don't see my message because I'm not their friend on Facebook. So then I can't even actually help them because they can't see my message. And I want them to be able to get all the help they possibly can. And that's why I normally ask people to do it for me. Um, not because I'm like lazy or don't want to do it. It's because they won't see my message then. And I can't actually help them if they don't see my message. Yeah, I would ask, I would say too that if it's a hostess that is a really good hostess, because I'm sure we've had those and then we've had some that are like really not great um, and they really want good rewards and they're part of it, they'll do it. If it's a hostess that's kind of like kind of participating, um, most of the time you can feel that out a little bit too and you can kind of tell like, oh, I don't think they're gonna do this, but we can try. Um, Okay, the next one is any tips on how to get more parties booked? Any promos on VIP page? Um, this, Brooke, I would say the best way to get parties is the follow up, is the follow up with your customers. So anytime any customer orders anything from a party, your VIP group, anything, you follow up with them in about a week and a half. And you can look at their tracking um, in your back office on their order, you can track it and see if it's been there and when it was delivered. And once, I would say like two days after it's delivered, follow up with them. They will appreciate it so much, even if they don't want to do a party because it's just good customer service. Mm -hmm. And anytime anybody says they like something, I just say, that's so great. I'm so glad you love it. Would you want to do a party so that way you can get more Zaya for free and half off? And that's literally just what I say. And honestly, that's how I get most of my parties. Um, because I'm just asking them and they like, like the product. Um, you know, obviously you do get no's, but that's the best way I feel like to get parties is those follow ups. And um, I do periodically go through my VIP group, as I get new people in there. Um, I go through the list probably like once a month and I look at it and I see who hasn't had a party with me yet, but I know have has ordered and, and like the stuff. And I just message them. I say, Hey, would you want to have a party? And sometimes I do, I'm trying to do more of like the multi-host party now where it's a lot easier to combine them all in one for the month. Um, like just one week of it. And that way you get more interaction as well in those parties, which is great sometimes you just have dud parties and so when you have a multi-host party more interaction is awesome um but sometimes i'll just go through my vip list and just throw out there like i'm doing this fun you know multi-host party um sometimes i'll give them like if you do it i'll give you a, bom a bomber bra or the host that has the most rewards will win a bomber bra whatever um and just throw that out there but i would say the best way to get parties is your follow-ups with your customers um, and obviously our VIP page is awesome and great, but those, a lot of times those people are, have done parties a few already and are just kind of like recurring customers, you know, most of the time. Um, and so, Kaylin, what yeah, else? I would say, you know, if you've had your VIP page for, you know, longer than a few months, most of the people that are in there have already had a party with you or maybe aren't very interested. So it's not going to be like, you're not going to get a ton of parties off your VIP page. Normally, once you've been in Zaya for a little while, um, right at the start, absolutely. That is where you're getting all your parties, all of your stuff. But after you've kind of like been on your VIP page for a while, um, it's probably not going to be the place that you're going to get your parties from orders. Absolutely. Um, but in your parties that you're holding is where you're going to get your parties from people that have purchased people that want to purchase that maybe 
don't have the money. Like if someone says when you message them that they don't have the money, say, oh, um, that's totally understandable. I get it. Um, would you be interested in having a party instead, Ben, um, and getting some free items? Then you don't have to spend all the money on the leggings that you wanted. Um, so I always offer that to anyone that says that they don't have the money. I'm like, oh, well, let's have a party then. <laughs> um, so throw that out there. That's your first opportunity. And then I had like um, a few people from my past party two weeks ago. Um, I was just pulling up the message of one of the girls that I was talking to. She said that she had like $450 of stuff in her cart, but she couldn't obviously afford any of that. And she's like, well, I'll just probably, you know, get one thing. And I said, well, if you have a huge wish, wish list, let's do a party. So if people are saying they love all the stuff, but they just don't have the money, say, well, if you have a big wish list, let's get you all that stuff and get it free. They're free or half off. Like, why not? And then she's like, oh, I didn't even know that was an option, you know? So some people don't even, they don't even realize that they can get free and half off stuff. They don't know that that's even a thing. They don't know that the party rewards are that good because they don't actually read our party stuff. Not everyone reads our posts. So just let people know like, hey, you have a big wish list. Let's get all that good stuff for you then. Um, or ask them. They may not tell you they have a big wish list, but you can ask them. Be like, hey, um, I know you love those leggings that you just purchased. Do you have a big wish list? Do you want more stuff? And if they're like, yeah, I really do. Be like, let's throw you a party. Let's do it. I have an opening next week. What about that? Does that work for you? So you have to ask them. You have to throw it out there. They're not going to ask you most probably 90% of the time um, you are asking people, 10% of the time people are asking you. So you really got to just jump in head first and ask people and be forward um, and just be excited because they're going to feed off of that with you. Yeah. I've even um, done it where I have, so sometimes like if, especially if you do really well in one area, like Kill and I live in a very saturated Zaya town right now and it's a small town and so our go our focus right now is not even local at all like we're we haven't done a local party in a while because it's just saturated right and so what I've even done is if you know people in different areas even if it's just like three towns over you know or two towns over one town over um I've actually contacted them and said like I've had a couple people in different states and I've contacted them and I said hey um, I have a small business and I was wondering if you could do a party for me because I'm really trying to expand my business outside of my area. And if people know you, um, and want to support you, um, you know, and then you can also say like, you can get amazing active wear out of this. And, um, I've actually done that just like almost asking like a favor, you know, like I'm trying to expand my business outside of my area. Um, would you want to have a party? Um, you know, it's all online. You can get amazing active wear out of it. And I've had great, I've had a couple really good responses that way. So don't be afraid, like people want to support you and um, in that way. So don't be afraid to ask in that way as well. Um, yeah. Um, I think the last question we have here is from Chelsea on the chat, um, I believe. And it says, my biggest fear is I have a huge push for director in November and don't get it. Then what? That's, that's a question. Do you want me to answer that, Joel? You want to do it? Well, I was just going to say those are real feelings. So don't feel like, um, like dumb or anything <laughs> for having those feelings or um, I think we've all been there and um, yeah. Well, I would say um, Joelle and I had tried to push for executive for three months. So there was like three months there where we didn't get it. Um, and so it was like, you know, we were pushing, we were really excited. We had all the plans. We, you know, we're like, okay, this month is our month. You know, we're gonna get to executive. Um, didn't get there. Next month, okay, we're gonna push. We've got the big plans. We're gonna do so good. Oh, we're doing so great. Didn't get there. Um, but the thing that continues to keep you as like someone that is not gonna stop is you are motivated to 
continue to make goals, continue to push yourself, even when you don't hit those goals. Cause we're not all perfect. We all have standards and goals for ourselves, but what makes the difference is that you tried, you tried your best and there was no other thing that you could have done to make yourself better. You did the best that you could. And that's what counts. It's putting your foot forward, taking action every day and trying your best. And if you don't get there by doing that, you eventually will. It just wasn't your month. And um, the thing is, is um, we eventually got there, but it took us three extra months because it would just wasn't our time. And that's okay. So you push your hardest until the last day. I mean, it's crazy what the last three days of the month can bring in. Last month, I was $10,000 behind. And in three days, we got past that $10,000. That is insane. The last month can push you so far. So do not give up until literally midnight on the last day. That is what is going to keep you motivated, keep you going. And that is going to get you to your goals is never giving up. And then when you hit your goal, say you hit it early, you keep pushing because you can go farther than you even think. Don't give up just because it hit your goal. Yeah. Because then that means you could go even farther than you even thought you could because you keep going. So if you don't hit your goal, that's okay. We all, we all have goals that we don't meet. Um, and sometimes it's out of our control, but what's in our control is our action steps. Are we taking action? Are we working daily? Even if it's just a little bit, um, to make ourselves better, if we're doing that, that's okay. Then if we don't hit that goal, but what we know is next month, we're going to be better than we were the month before. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to be working harder than we were the month before. So just continue to make high goals for yourself. Do not settle for less. Um, but if you don't make those goals, don't feel like you're a failure just because you didn't get there. Look at where you've come and continue on to the next month and be like, well, I didn't get it this month, but I'm going to get it the next month. And you're going to work like you're going to get it because that's how you get there. Then like Joanne, and I, we didn't get executive the month that we thought we were going to get it. And it was disappointing, but we realized that if you like hold on to that disappointment and not let it like make you better, you're never going to get where you want to go. So you have to let it go and be like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try my hardest and I'm going to make it better than it was before. And I'm going to do everything I possibly can until midnight, the night, the last day of the month. And then hopefully, um, you hit that rank. Um, but like Joelle said, it's, it's not because you're horrible or you didn't do a good job. It's just, it wasn't the right time and you just keep pushing for it. Yeah. And I would say, um, Celebrate all of your, every single victory that you have, whether it be big or small. Like you, yeah. you have to be like, obviously as leaders, we're, we're your cheerleaders, but you have to be your own cheerleader as well. So be proud of yourself with every little victory, whether that's yes. hitting director or being $500 away from it. Like that's still a huge accomplishment. So celebrate it, celebrate every order you get, you know, I mean, it's, that's amazing. <laughs> so yep. don't be, don't forget to do that. And, um, I would say that there were, if, if there, if, if you, if there was somebody, okay. Wow. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I, okay, sorry. It's a great example of not giving up until literally midnight because when she hit senior director, she was, Two days away, she was $5,000 away. Two days away, $5,000 away of group volume. And she personally probably got like most of that group volume <laughs> in like those two days because she was just like pushing orders and like reaching out to so many people. And then with her, with when she hit executive last month, um, she, yeah, like she said, $10,000 away on that, like three days before the month ended. And she just kept recruiting. She kept reaching out, kept getting orders, you know, and she's a great example of don't stop until the very last second. And like, it's possible, you know, so just, and, and I love what she said about, say you hit your goal, like halfway through the month or like five days 
before the month ends, do not stop. Like you have the momentum, keep going, you know, like just keep going, you know, and that's, yeah, but definitely, um, definitely celebrate all your small victories as well. And do not feel like a failure if you don't hit it because you're not, not nobody's a failure, <laughs> you know? And so, um, yeah. Anybody else have any other questions? I, we're going really long here. So thanks for bearing with us. Any other questions? Yeah, we want to get all the, all the questions out. So um, as long as you guys want to stay on, we'll continue to answer questions because we know that we want November to be amazing for you guys. Um, and I know that Zaya said that the CEO said that it's going to be the biggest month of literally so far that Zaya has been a part or been available. So I know that I want all of you guys to um, take part in having the best months that you've ever had. Um, so we want to get everything answered for you guys. We want to set you up for success. Oh my gosh, can't say ever that word. Um, and just kind of get you guys ready to be amazing in November. And that's what's coming here soon. So um, we'll just kind of be quiet for a second here. I have a hard time being quiet. So <laughs> um, if you have questions. Amy, I think you had a question a while back on the director's page was it I think it was about like a launch party I don't know if we answered that unmute can you hear me yeah yeah I had never done a launch party before and I wondered how many posts like you had because this this rep had a party like in August and then just started just signed up in September. So I, I wasn't sure what to do, but I, I've just been posting like four times a day and uh, I'm running it for a week and uh, we did one $10 giveaway. So that's, that's what I did, but I don't know what other people do. And how long, then I have another rep that um, is maybe has a pretty small VIP group. And so I've kind of been, I post restocks, like I'm, I'm like continuing the launch party. I, I got to cut the, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I just, I, uh, this is new to me. Yeah. So I, when I do um, launch parties, I actually haven't done a launch party yet for a rep, but I've helped them with their launch parties. I mean, I'm sure down the road, I'll probably do one, you know, if, if I need to do that. But um, I always tell them since it's not a regular party to do a week long, it's kind of like, you know, in their VIP group now. And, and then we don't post as much during the day. Um, I love to do a lot of like have the first have that rep do a lot of um, interactive posts and they also need to be posting not just you especially since they're mm -hmm. the rep you know they're the one making the money <laughs> most of the money off of their orders um yeah. so whether that be like them in an outfit during a day or um just posting like maybe what they're doing that day or questions like what are you doing today or some interactive post or something but make sure that they're involved as well, because, you know, you don't want it to look like it, it's just like a party that you're throwing, you know, it needs to be way more personal. Um, I would say run it almost like a VIP group, but you're just posting more, mm -hmm. you know, so um, not just product, 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 but maybe some fun stuff in there, have the rep post an outfit or something or, um, so well, I'll give a little advice of like what I've learned from doing a few launch parties um, for people. And then kind of um, one of the people that is below Mallory that they do amazing um, with their team and onboarding and kind of getting people started off well is um, you as the rep that are recruiting throw their launch party. They suggest that everybody does that for brand new reps. You throw their launch party for them but you are only posting for them. You are not interacting, answering questions, 
you are doing the posting. So you're showing them how to run a party post wise. So you set up all of the posting for them. You're doing your post my party and running their party for them. Like you would normally run your own party. Um, and then what they are doing while you're running the party, they're not sitting back and collecting all this, this, um, all these rewards. They are reaching out to everybody in their group, seeing if they want to have parties. They're working on getting parties, getting orders, answering questions for people and learning and watching you post. That's their job. They're starting, but they're learning from you as you're posting. They're paying attention to see if people are asking questions and they're going to try and answer them. If they don't know it, they're going to ask you in the background. Hey, I don't know this answer. Can you tell me? So they can learn. Because if they're not doing that, they're not going to learn. They need to learn during their launch party the most they possibly can to be ready for another party after that. So um, run it as you being the poster, but they're the ones doing it. So they're in charge of their party, but you are just posting. You're simply there as the person that is posting. That's it. And then if she has questions, she's reaching out to you in the background and saying, hey, this person asked me about this size. Where do I find that? Or how do I know that answer? Then you direct them, oh, Zaya Marketing can't answer that for you. So then they know next time they can look at Zaya Marketing. Um, or, hey, this person really likes this stuff. We'll ask them to have a party. Okay, I'll ask them, you know? So they need to be doing it because it's their party, it's their friends. And if they want to be successful, they need to be jumping in. And that was a mistake that um, I didn't do in the past that I should have done. And since I did that with the new people in September, a hundred times difference. I mean, it, they are all over a thousand dollars this month for their first month. And it's because I had them run their parties. I posted, so I showed everyone all the amazing stuff, but they were there interacting and learning and like being a part of it and because of that they're all so much more successful right away and I really highly suggest that for all of you guys that get new reps is you throw the party but they're the ones doing it if that makes sense and what if they've just had a party um do you use like what you post is it different like than what you would do for a normal party so if they just had a party, it's kind of a little different on how you would do the launch. So I would probably cut back on a lot of the stuff and just do um, like simple things each day. Like, okay, today we're just going to review bras because um, most people that are in parties don't necessarily see everything anyways. So redoing it isn't going to hurt anybody, but mm -hmm. just don't do everything that you did before. Maybe just review each day of things and have a few fun giveaways, ask the hostess or the new rep what they want to do for their giveaway. Cause it's their giveaway. They have to provide it, not you. So I always ask them, I'm like, Hey, what do you want to do for your giveaway? Do you want to give two $10 gift cards away? Do you want to do free shipping on one day? What do you want to do to help your group get better? And they have to come up with some ideas for themselves of what they feel is fun and going to help their group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I know, I think I know who you're talking about, Amy. And so that's why I suggested trying to do kind of run it like a VIP page. Yep. What you would do, but a little more. So maybe a little more product, but try to keep it really interactive and, you know, have the host post something herself. And like you said, have the host answer questions or mm -hmm. the rep answer questions. And, you know, and if she has questions, she can ask you obviously, but, mm -hmm. um, just because I know who you're talking about, <laughs> yeah. that's right. That's what my suggestion would be was you definitely want to keep it especially if they just had a party you want to keep it you want to get interactions so you want to do lots of this or that and um some things that don't really relate to Zaya you know questions like those fun little games questions and stuff like that mm -hmm. okay so. great thanks yeah anybody else have any questions I we're already an hour in here yeah, if you guys need to drop off, it's okay. It's not going to offend us. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
this isn't the only time that you guys have to ans- ask questions. If you have any other questions, like throughout the party or even after this, it's not the end of the world. Come back to this director group and rewatch things. Definitely that time and productivity one that we posted the first day. I'm rewatching that in November 1st because I want to start off right. So I'm going to be rewatching that because it's going to sh- remind me how I need to be planning things and I need to be planned out because if I'm not, November's not going to go the way I want. So I need to plan and do things. So um, rewatch things. If you feel like you need a little refresher, they're going to be there. This group isn't going anywhere. Um, so start rewatching things if you need a little refresher on something. Yeah, tomorrow we're going to be posting about how to check your numbers in the back office um, and to look at how to, how to look at your um, team's numbers in depth which is really, really important for you to know. Obviously, if you're trying to rank advance because you need to know, you know, if somebody's rank advancing or not or how far, like say you have a team member that's $200 away from them rank advancing, reach out to them. Hey, you are so close, you know? Um, so that's going to be a really, a really good one to listen to. And um, it's more of like a, you watch it once, but yeah. Anyways, we'll let you guys go. Thank you for popping on here and um, spending your night doing this with us. I hope you guys have a great night. Um, And we hope that you guys have been learning a lot in the director's group. Caitlin and and I have been pouring our heart into it. (laughs) Like we've been putting so much effort into it because we really, really want you guys to feel like you're being helped and given everything you can, you know, um, that we that we can share as well. I mean, we're not we're not a, a profession. I mean, uh, we're not perfect. Yes, we're not perfect. We don't have all the answers, but we're trying as much as we can. So, I hope you guys have a good night and a good rest of your week and weekend. See you later, guys. You all are amazing. Bye.